Today I'm going to be showing you how to create moving smoke using After Effects without any third-party plugins. Here's an example of what it'll look like. That clip is from Nightfall, which is a movie I directed, and uh, the link is in the description if you want to check it out. So to begin, we're going to need to start with a new composition, and I would really suggest that you make your background color here white, so that you're able to see the smoke while you're working with it and while you're keyframing it out. Next, you're going to want to make a new solid, and the color that you make this solid will be the color of the smoke, but you can always change that later if you want. For now, I'm going to go with black. You're also going to want to make the size of the solid larger than your composition, so I'm going to go with 5,000 here. You'll understand more later, but this basically gives us lots of area to play with as we move the mask around. So now we're going to select the pen tool at the top left bar here and create a mask. I'd suggest placing five points, but it doesn't really matter. Now in your effects bar, you're going to search up Turbulent Displace. It'll be under the Distort dropdown. After you drag that on, you're going to go up to Effect Controls, and you're going to adjust the complexity to 10. So now it goes from this curvy line to a somewhat smoky cloud. But to make it more realistic, we're going to go into our Composition window here to open the Solids Mask and feather out the edges. And now it's finally beginning to look like smoke. But of course we want it to move like smoke too. So we're going to make sure our timer marker is at zero, and then we're going to go up to Evolution and click the stopwatch right beside it. Then we're going to take our indicator and bring it all the way to 30 seconds, and from there we're going to go back up to the Evolution and we're going to adjust this number to be 10, so there's 10 rotations in that time frame. And you'll see when I play it back that adding that little bit of movement makes it look quite realistic. Now the last step is to get to actually move across the screen, and so in order to do that, you're going to select the timer button on the mask path here and add keyframes as you move the path. And as you can see, you have full control over its movement. And once you're done keyframing, it'll leave you with something like this, which makes it really easy to place into your footage. Now when it comes to adding the smoke to your footage, there are two tricks that I use to really make it come to life. The first gives it some dimension by having two tones of color. So here's my footage, and then here's my smoke, which I have already keyframed out with the path I want it to take. Select the smoke in your composition window here, and then just copy and paste to duplicate it. I would suggest renaming the top layer Smoke Dark, and the bottom layer Smoke Light, so that you don't get confused. Now you're going to feather the bottom layer just a little bit more than you have the top. Now click the solid layer again and on your keyboard push in Command Shift Y and that'll bring up the solid settings. For now I'm going to color this thing red so that you can see the point of feathering and adding this dimensionality. And now taking it into my footage it's clear that this is obviously like super fake but this is where we do the same button as before Command Shift Y and then we're going to change it to a very dark gray just to make it a little different from the black. The second trick I use when adding it to footage is masking. I want the smoke to interact with the environment, so I want it to go behind these trees and behind him. This is just really simple masking, so all you need to do is duplicate your original footage, and then you're going to drag it on top of the smokes that you created before. I usually lock the bottom layer so I don't accidentally edit that one by mistake. Make sure you have your top layer of footage selected, and then you're going to go up to the top, grab your pen tool, and all you're going to do is mask out the areas that you want to be in front of the smokes. Because this shot didn't use a tripod, and so the trees move, for the real movie I went through and masked frame by frame. But I'm not going to go over that because a lot of you probably already know it, and if not, there's lots of tutorials out there. And that's it! If you're interested, check out our film Nightfall. We're really proud of it, and I'd love to know what you think. 
Hope this helped and thanks for watching.